Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is an early Saturday morning. Braylon has her very first soccer tournament of the season. We are super, super excited to be getting back into the groove of soccer, but these early mornings are not my favorite part. It is only 20 degrees outside. The sun is just coming up. Braylon is finishing up getting ready. She doesn't like getting up in the mornings either. She had to get up the same time today as she does for school, and the weekends are supposed to be for sleeping in, but not when it's soccer season. Brianna and Brady actually spent the night last night, so they're both going to go with us. So Braylon's really excited about that. Braylon's team is wearing their all black uniform today, which was a really good choice because it rained all day yesterday. So I have a feeling that the fields are going to be muddy. Braylon's first game starts at 945 and it's going to be about 32 degrees so it's going to be super cold and then she does not have her second game until 5 15 this evening so we have a huge break in between games we're still not really sure what we're going to do we still have to take those pants back to pack sign so that is definitely on the list of things to do during that break braylon's going to finish up getting ready and then we're going to head out the door all right we got everybody here braylon brianna brady scott of course we are in line here for chick-fil-a it's our tradition to stop here on a Saturday morning when we have a soccer tournament. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> you nervous? Excited? You ready to get back on the soccer field? You show them what you're all about? <laughs> Say stuff like that. You have three minutes. Get yourself in the zone. It is halftime. The score is 1 0. Braylon's team is winning. It is freezing cold here. The wind is awful. Do it for the Grammy, only do it for a catch. Dropping back to back, but really, I've been relaxing. I might go for months, I could go for years. If I take a break, I promise I'll be relapsing. Started from the mud, I just need a trash. Started with a buck, now I tell the label match it. Yeah, I've been my own boss. I took that leap of faith, yeah, I really dove off. Nothing I need to say, I let the work show off. For my kids, I go hard, gotta go hard. This yeah. the end of if you rock it with it, put your hands up. Yeah, this the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah, this one for the winners if you're with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me. Yeah, this one for the winners if you're with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. This the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. This one for the winners if you with me. Game's over. Braylon, how'd you guys do? Good. We won one to zero. Was it cold? Like how very, cold? Very cold. It was very, very cold. I'm so glad it's over. So we have decided to come over here to Tyson's Corner. A couple of, like two of my friends also from my soccer team are coming with us. Yeah, some of our friends are gonna meet us over here. We're gonna get something to eat at Hooters and we're gonna go and get the tag taken off of her shorts. And then we're, and gonna... Then we're gonna get to Lululemon. 
I told her I would take her to Lululemon since she got that assist and they won the game. So we just left the mall and we're at 7-Eleven because everybody had to go to the bathroom. I didn't though. But I'm gonna give you guys a haul. But first, we did not get to take the tags off of these shorts because they didn't have like those ones use like a gun and it like clamps and they didn't have that way to take it off they have only like the metal one that you stick and it pops off so we have to find somewhere to return those soon but i'm actually going to give you guys a haul i got two things we were there for like an hour i think an hour and a half i'm not sure first garage i got this super cute just cropped tee i just thought it was cute for the summer last place is lululemon um i got a pair of shorts that are i literally love the color of these like a lot but they're a pair of um speed ups the high rise ones i like the high rise a lot we're headed to our next game after this so hopefully we win and i really want to go so yeah so the team that we're playing against is going to be wearing a royal blue so braylon's team had to change to their all white uniform i like this uniform this one's actually my favorite of all three that you have What's your favorite? I like black. Or you like the black on black? Yeah. All right, good luck. We're going to stay in the car to be warm, and we will see you in 45 minutes. Good luck. Get a goal this time. This game is getting ready to start. It is still freezing cold. The wind has completely died down, but it's still really cold. And it's starting to get dark because it's, like, really cloudy here. But I got eyes on the vision, can't get delirious Fall in love with the game and then you marry it I think I'm married it This the anthem If you rock it with it, put your hands on The girls are tied 1-1. One, one. The team that we are playing played the team that we played our first game and lost against them. And we beat them, but we are tied 1-1. One, one. It is the half. I just came back here to the car to get another blanket. I have one up there and it is not enough. I am freezing cold. I think this game is actually colder than the first game. If I give you my word, that's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. If it's love, I got it tatted. Father, I'm not absent. I was working smarter back when they was working backwards. Do it for the Grammy, only do it for a catch. Dropping back to back, but really, I've been relaxing. I might go for months, I could go for years. If I take a break, I promise I'll be relapsing. Started from the mud, I just need a traction. Started with a buck, now I tell the label, match it. Yeah, I've been my own boss. I took that leap of faith, yeah, I really dove off. Nothing I need to say, I let the work show off. For my kids, I go hard, gotta go hard. This yeah. the anthem. If you rock it with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. So we are home from the game. Unfortunately, Braylon's team lost two to one. It was 
colder than the first game. It was it was awful. It took me the whole hour and 15 minute drive home just to thaw out. Braylon ended up falling asleep on the way home. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit warmer, but not by much. We stopped at Sheets. Braylon is fueling up for tomorrow. She got a chicken salad sandwich, some chicken salad sandwich, or chicken salad, chicken <laughs> salad. <laughs> She got some macaroni and cheese bites. And I ended up getting this amazing looking fried platter right before I go to bed, which guaranteed is probably gonna give me some indigestion. But they were talking about it on the way home. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Normally I don't eat this kind of stuff, especially this late at night, but it has mozzarella sticks, macaroni and cheese bites, and these um, cheese curds. Mm. So, so good. And then, I got some smart popcorn. Braylon got prime. She's like in this prime kick right now and they didn't have the ice pop kind that she really likes. So she is trying the orange. what do you think compared to the ice pop? It's good. I also like fruit punch. But they didn't have fruit punch. It was either this or grape. Ew, and I was not getting grape. Yeah, I don't blame you. I would have went with the orange choice as well. It's good though. So Braylon has to be back to the field tomorrow at 9.45. They did make it to the semifinals. And if they win that game, then they will make it to the championship game, which I think starts at like 2.15, but we're going back to the same field that we were just at. Tonight is daylight savings time. So that means we lose an hour of sleep tonight and we have to be back the same time we were today. And right now it's like nine o'clock, which technically means it's 10 o'clock and we have to get up at 6.30. So losing an hour of sleep really stinks. So we really need to eat, shower and get in bed. And I'm actually making this a whole weekend type vlog. So we will pick back up tomorrow morning once we're up and getting on the road for day two of the tournament. It is super early in the morning. Losing that hour for the time change, literally we are feeling it. We rushed out the door. Braylon slept the whole way here. I didn't even have time to get ready this morning. I just threw something on. But anyway, we made it here. We made it on time. It is uh, nine o'clock, which I know you're thinking nine o'clock is not that early, but losing that hour of sleep. And then it was an hour and 15 minute drive here. We're struggling. It is a little warmer than yesterday, probably only a couple degrees, but it's not windy. So it's making it feel a little bit warmer. It's about 33 degrees this morning and the sun hasn't come up yet. It's still like pretty cloudy. So hopefully the sun comes out that helps warm it up a little bit. We are back home from the super cold second day of the soccer tournament. This was probably the worst ref game that we have ever, ever had since Braylon started soccer. We lost, so that is why we're home. We lost one to zero. Our goalie, probably halfway through the first half of the game, got a red card for a call that totally shouldn't have happened. Basically, she came out of the goal to kick a ball away. And when she did that, the other team was coming towards the ball 
and so they were coming like at each other and um when she went to kick the ball our goalie she tripped the other player and they're trying to say that it was an intentional foul um trying to trip this girl and that she never made contact with the ball anyway she ended up getting a red card which means she was not allowed to play the whole rest of the game which was half of the first half and then the whole second half and when a teammate gets a red card that means you have to take one player out of the game for the whole rest of the game so instead of us having 11 players on the field we only had 10 plus we didn't have our goalie and so we lost one to zero very disappointing um another girl on the team we were playing got a yellow card from this uh referee um our coach got a yellow card because they had called that it was our throw in and the other team picked up the ball and threw it in and he didn't call it back he just continued to let it play and so our coach said something and he got a yellow card and it was just a really dirty game. A lot of the girls were um, falling, getting tripped, getting pushed. Sometimes he would call it, sometimes he wouldn't. And this isn't just our team, the team that we were playing against. That coach was making comments as well to our coach about this ref. I'm waiting for Braylon. She jumped in the shower real quick to uh, warm herself up. And then she has to get ready for volleyball. And then we were back out the door for volleyball practice. He are running late, super late actually. She's gonna be like 10 minutes late, unfortunately, with Braylon having her soccer game and then volleyball practice right after, we just weren't able to get here on time. What about the weather this weekend? It was really cold. Like, actually so cold. It's a soccer tournament again next weekend. Um, it's a Saturday and Sunday tournament. It's a little closer, actually it's not. It seems like it's closer because it's in Pennsylvania, but the more I think about it, it's not because we went to Virginia and it was an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes, depending on which field we played at this weekend. Next weekend, we're in Pennsylvania, but we're in like up north Pennsylvania, which is an hour and 15 minutes from us as well. So it's about the same time, travel time, just it's in our state that we live in. So she has a tournament Saturday and Sunday, and she also has a volleyball tournament on Sunday. And somehow we lucked out that her volleyball tournament and her soccer tournament are both in the same area. Um, they're only like 15 minutes from each other. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out. In my mind, I thought that Braylon could try to do both on Sunday. Braylon's feeling like she's gonna be way too tired and just way too much to try to go back and forth between volleyball and soccer. Obviously right now, soccer takes priority. And so if we can't do both, she would just uh, stay at her soccer tournament on Sunday. We have a couple things we need to do this evening. This weekend has just been crazy busy. This is what life is like for soccer season. It is just nonstop. Something is always going on. Our weekends are literally jam packed until June when school is out. Uh, with soccer. It doesn't help that Braylon's also playing club volleyball and she's also playing school volleyball. Well, volleyball for club is almost done anyway. Yes, like... club volleyball has um, two more weeks. Yeah. So uh, she has this week of practice, which is Sundays and Tuesdays. She has a volleyball tournament next weekend, Sunday, Tuesday practice, and then another volleyball tournament the following weekend. And then club volleyball is over, but she still has school volleyball and um, normally she's not playing anything in the springtime other than club soccer. So this is all new to us this season of trying to juggle between her playing soccer and volleyball. Volleyball practice is over. While Braylon was there, I went to the grocery store and I come out of the grocery store and it is snowing. It is March 12th, 11th? 12th. March 11th and we are getting snow. 12th. March 12th. March 12th. And we are getting snow. Now it is not laying, uh, it's not laying on the ground, but the roads are wet. It's, it's a like a pretty good snow coming down. I'm ready for spring. Spring will be here like what? Spring is, what's the first day of spring? I think like in a week or something. I just want it to be spring weather. I didn't even think it was calling for snow today. I really don't even think there was any type of rain or snow in the forecast and bam, here we are 
getting snow. We're going to Starbucks, like always after um, volleyball. What'd you get? Minty ice water. Tell them about your Starbucks today. It's like they didn't put enough lemonade in it, so it kind of tastes like more strawberry, and it's kind of sour. Yeah, Brayla made me try it. I don't like that stuff, and it is tart. Please tell me why you can go to the same Starbucks every single day, order the same exact thing, and every single time, it'll be completely different. It'll never taste the same. Can we go to Sheets, please, and get Prime? I got Braylon a little treat while um, I was at the grocery store. Hi, Chews. She, she loves high Chews. I get usually it? get her the big bag, like the assorted ones, but I couldn't find them, so I just got her the Greek ones because they're her favorite. She's on these really weird kicks right now. She is on a Prime kick, those drinks, Prime. She is on a Nutella kick. Like, the Nutella thing is starting to get, like, old. No, I'm just picking. But literally, she is on this huge Nutella kick. She has to have Nutella with strawberries in her lunch every single day. Sometimes she even has it for breakfast. Should we try this? She's and in her lunch. And she, the Prime, what else are you, like, one? on a kick for? Nothing. Okay, we're going to stop at this Sheets. And I'm going to show might, you guys our snack. We might Hold have on. to go to a different Sheets, though, because we didn't come to this one to get prime last night. You guys see the snow coming down? You can see it now. Craziness. I cannot believe it's snowing. We got the goods. They had so much stuff in there. Okay, first off, we got these high shoes and their fantasy mix. They're blue raspberry, blue Hawaii, and rainbow sherbet. Ooh, I want to try the rainbow sherbet. Okay. Mm, that. And then that sounds so these good. These are literally the best things ever. These are what are they? Smarties. Remember I got these with Brianna that time? Smarties squish, squishies. squishies. Okay, and now for the prime. It was two for five dollars, so we got six. Right? right. Okay, so first I got two ice pops, my favorite flavor. And then I got orange. This one has a dent. All of them had dents in it, but I got orange. Lemon lime. Which you've never had before. Blue raspberry. I haven't had this one yet because Jordan, my brother, drank my blue raspberry that I had and then tropical punch. And I sent it to Brianna because Brady's obsessed with Prime now. And mm, I'm excited. I want to try this rainbow sherbet. What kind are you going to try? Rainbow sherbet. Oh. Mm, so hard. That tastes just like rainbow, rainbow sherbet. I have too much candy. Oh my gosh, mm. that is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Look, that boy just got a prime. Okay. I have groceries in the trunk that need to be unloaded. We're probably going to come back there soon. Because <laughs> there's going to be gone in like six days. You only need one a day. And hopefully your brother doesn't get a hold of them. I really like those, Braylon. Mm -hmm. And you know I don't like candy. These are really, really good. They taste like Smarties, but they're like, mm, they're so good. If you have a Sheets close by, go check out because they might have Prime because they're stocked everywhere we've gone. So Braylon showered, got dressed, did her makeup. We had dinner. I actually made dinner at home again. I don't know what is getting into me, but I've been making dinner at home a lot lately. I told Scott, I was like, let me get some more light in here. I told Scott, I said, it's soccer season, which means we're going to be eating out a lot during soccer. Because like yesterday for lunch, we had dinner out. This morning we had lunch out because we're always away for soccer. So I should probably be making dinner during the week to save some money and eat out on the weekend. So I've been making dinner all last week and then I made dinner again tonight. Anyway, so our last thing that we need to do this weekend, I went to the grocery store, but there's just some things I can't get at the grocery store. So our last trip is going to be in here to Target. So I did end up getting some stuff from Target. So first I got these four Kinder Joy eggs, literally my favorite. Um, next I just got this Starbucks vanilla latte coffee. I love this one in the caramel macchiato. And then last thing, since I can't get my nails done until, like, summer, I got these Russell nails. And then I got, I brought some glue, too, even though, I don't know, 
Oh, I didn't need glue. Oh, it's okay. You Whatever, have extra. I have extra too. Yeah, just in case like one falls off and stuff. So that's what I got from Target, and I'll see you guys in the next video.